Right, it's been a while since I worked on Project Planner AI. So when I'm kind of away from a project for a while, I can easily just log into my Project Planner and just see what work items that I have assigned to myself. So let's just go ahead and try to add some functionality. Right now, when you send a message, there's no way to like modify that message, which kind of sucks, right? Sometimes you'll paste a message, you'll misspell something. There's no way to edit it. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this particular feature. There's also a weird bug going on, like none of the images in our app are showing up. I have a deployment going off right now that I'm just downgrading Next.js to see if that fixes it. So as you can see, there's like a GitHub action running for deploying this. Um, hopefully it fixes it. I have no idea why this would be broken. This is the issue that happens. Like if you try to load the image directly, you get cannot read properties of undefined. I don't know if this is because we're deploying to like AWS with SST, or if this is because we're using Next.js 14.1.1. We just recently updated that six hours ago. So I am downgrading next to see if that fixes the issue. Anyway, let's just focus on adding a message edit ability. So this is pretty straightforward. Implement a feature that allows users to edit their messages. So let's go to our application. I'm gonna go ahead and just log in. And uh, let's go to messages, because that's where we need to modify this. So this is the current functionality. You click on this and there's no way to modify what you already typed. I, I think for right now, let's just add a, uh, an edit button inside of this dropdown. So we're gonna go to the messages page, right? So let's go over here, I'll say app. I'll say messages should be a page there. This is where the delete is showing up. Let's just copy this drop down item. And we're going to go ahead and say, we're going to add an edit as well. If you are a user who owns this message, put this in a fragment. And I'll go ahead and just over here, add that to a fragment, save it. What we need to do instead of delete message is probably do like a toggle edit message. So I'm going to do edit icon, and I'll say edit, and this will be an edit icon as well. Actually, why, why did I change that? That needs to be icon menu, like that. And let's see if that shows up now. Oh, now we got an edit. Oh, I want to remove the red. We don't want like this text red stuff going on, so I'll remove that. And uh, also remove the hover there. And so basically, if you click on this edit button, um, it deleted because I forgot to delete the <laughs> delete functionality. Let's just go ahead and remove that. And what we want to do is somehow we want to toggle the state of the input. So that to me says I need react state somewhere and I need to figure out where to put that react state. This is basically where we're like defining our message component. So we could basically say const uh, is edit and set is edit equals use state. Now I do believe React's going to complain because it doesn't think that this is an actual like React component. So I'm going to do a ignore for right now. Because this is actually a React component. It just isn't in a, a function with a capital letter. So down here where we added the edit button, what we want to do is if you click on this, we're going to say set is edit. And then we're just going to negate the current value of is edit. And now when we have this state variable, what we could do is we could find where we're displaying the text. So I think message.message .message or message.text is what we want. Okay, this is where we display it. So we just need to kind of ternary this. Um, if it is edit mode, then we probably need to display an input. And then for the value, we could do message.text. Technically this could be like default value, I think. We could wrap this in a form so we have access to get an on submit. We could do E and then E dot prevent default. And then really we want to save the edits. So E should have the form. So I can say const form is equal to new form E dot target dot value. Uh, actually, I think it's called form data. Is that how you do it? And then for E, I think I need to say form is equal to E dot target as form element, HTML form element. I'm just go ahead and do this. And I'll say to do save the edits. So let's go and make sure this works. Okay, so it turns out I think we are getting an issue where like we can't add state here because um, this probably needs to be a message component. So let's go over here. I'm going to make a message component. Say function message. And then we're going to return all this information. Okay, let's just return all this inside of there. 
And uh, let's go down to where we had that. And we're going to go ahead and just say return message like this. So now let's figure out what is potentially missing from this. Oh, this needs like a group reactions, whatever this is. I'm just going to give it any for right now because I'm lazy. But then it also needs a message itself. I'll say message. And then we're going to say this is a message of doc messages. Some other stuff we need. Set emoji panel open. So I'm going to hack this in for right now. I'm running out of time. Oh, some of the stuff I can actually just load in directly in the message itself. So I'm going to cut this out. We're going to go up here. We're going to paste this in. And some of the stuff can go away. This one also looks like it's state that should be coming from the message component. Um, so let's do this. Put that in there. These things don't need to be there. That can go away. Now what we need to do is go to where we use that message and pass it in the thing that's missing. So it's missing group reactions. It's missing message. And then it's also missing user ID. So no TypeScript errors. Hopefully this works. Refresh the page. Click testing. Go ahead and click edit. Now this is an edit input. We should probably add like a save button over here. And then we could just go ahead and submit that. So let's find where we're displaying like the edit mode. Oh, here it is. And then we can just go ahead and add a button here. So we'll say button and then we'll say like save. Make sure that button shows up. Okay, looks good. We also have like a cancel button maybe. Um, cancel. And this could be variant of I don't know, uh, outline maybe. And then for this whole thing, we should probably like put some gap between everything. So I'll say class name, flex, gap of two, justify, uh, item center. There you go. And so if you press cancel, what we probably want to do is we'll say on click and we're going to just go ahead and negate this again. So set uh, is edit to false when you cancel. Make sure this works. There you go. And then when you save, we need to call a method to basically update the message. So I'll say update message. And then we need to make an action. So I'm going to go to convex messages. I'll say export function update message. Actually, this needs to be a const. Equals use mutation. I'm sorry, use this will be just be mutation. Args will be message ID, which is in a V dot ID of messages. And then we'll say text is V dot string. Okay, so now we can actually get a handler going on here. Go ahead and just copy this. And we'll say has access to mutate the plan. So technically, we can get the message, which I'm sure we get over here. We'll do this. Go down here, paste that in, and then no access to edit message. And finally, we're going to go ahead and patch the message based on the ID. So message underscore ID. And then we want to update the text here, which will be args.txt. And then we're going to delete all that. That should be good. And then we're going to go over here. And what we need to do is pass in the message ID. Uh, in a second, we're going to go ahead and import this mutation. So let's say const this is equal to use mutation API messages update message. Awesome. Go to where we use that and let's just go ahead and say message ID is equal to message dot ID and then text will be data dot text. Um, which will be down here. So I'm going to go ahead and say name is text. And this needs to be, I think, git. That. Could be null. So I guess we'll default it to empty string so that TypeScript is happy about that. Okay, so 
I think now I should be able to say edit. I'll say testing, one, two, three, click save. And that should have made a request to my backend so that when I refresh the page, so the last thing we need to do is just go ahead and close this modal when it's done updating. So let's just go ahead and edit this. I'll say testing, click submit. Form submission canceled because the form is not connected. I have no idea what that means. I think maybe down here they say type submit maybe, and then this could be type button so that when you submit it doesn't like, I don't know. Here we go, working. Now a little bit of modifications to this. Um, I think the text area, we could probably instead of using input, we could use like input that comes from CAD CN. Like that, and let's make sure tabbing works too. Hello world, cancel, testing, save. All right, there you have it. it. Added the ability to edit messages that's persisted to the database. That's going to be updated, and we're good. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me live code a feature onto our project planner AI.com application. Feel free to check it out. We are planning to switch to a subscription-based model where we charge monthly for basically allowing you to manage your side pro side projects um, from a centralized place. I think we're making some good progress on this, and I'm actually really happy with how well and polished this this app looks. So, other than that, have a good day and happy coding.